Good afternoon, everybody. It is Fantastic Friday, and we all know what that means. Yeah, if you're wondering if I have a little bit more energy than normal, I do because now I can breathe. <laughs> you, is... <laughs> you feel like a human being now? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't go that far. I feel <laughs> like the, I feel like 80% of what I used to feel like, so oh. it's infinitely better than what I have felt like. So yeah, so I oh, saved good. it all up for today. We, we I spent a little bit of it yesterday on the Three Amigos, but Michael Zuber, how's it going? Happy Friday to you. Even though uh, man, it's Saturday. Every day is Saturday, man. It's, uh, I look forward to this. This is always always a good conversation. So thank you for doing this every Friday. Anytime. I'm happy to do it. So one of the things that you and I get really often on our channels, whether it's DMs or questions or comments, um, I think the most colorful language is typically associated with these comments, um, is the talk about crypto or Bitcoin versus housing. Yes. I, I get a lot of those. I get a lot of bots. Yep. Uh, yeah. And, and at least I'm still to the size where I can delete them all. But yeah, <laughs> you want to be deleted from my channel or blocked. Mm. Talk about Bitcoin and Telegram. I don't even know what that hell like that Telegram stuff is. But yeah, so yeah. Telegram is like a messaging service, kind of like um, a mess, like Facebook Messenger, oh, okay. um, except it's bigger internationally. So okay. I, have, I have friends overseas. We use Telegram. To okay. Talk. Yeah. So that's, so that's what that is. But I think what's really interesting is I think that one of the things that you and I try and do is step through all mm -hmm. the data oh, for to, sure. to then formulate a uh, informed opinion. Mm -hmm. And so I think what I've seen a lot in most recent weeks and months is people kind of talking past each other about the crypto piece. And I think that I wanted to really take the time to break down the numbers Okay. So I didn't have 24 hours into this like you had into your 50 year spreadsheet, but I had probably three or four hours into, oh. yeah, all, oh yeah, I spent some time on it okay. calculating all these things out, but wanted to share it with you because as I said, we get hit pretty often with, we just don't get crypto, which was really funny because we both own crypto. Yeah, exactly. We both have some. I, I probably own more than most people watching this probably. Agreed. Right. And so that's why I find it, I thought it kind of ironic is, what we're really talking about is what our understanding is based on our experiences and helping educate people that are in that place in life where they say, you know what, mm -hmm. I'm finally at that place in life where, I, where I'm starting to put together a little bit of money. Yeah. And okay. the question is, am I, should I be investing it in real estate? Should I be investing it in crypto? Should I be doing something completely you know, offline, like doing something like the four, three, two, one strategy where I really want to hypercharge wealth creation. Right. right. I just wanted to kind of walk through the numbers because I think that it, it it's not helpful when people just have this idea that they're so set dead set on. Mm -hmm. I want to walk through the numbers and say, what does this really look like? Yep. Um, and, okay. and no time like the present with your amazing purple hair. Yeah. <laughs> no time yes. like the present. Yeah. Well, so, hey, you know, I'm a man of my word. My audience closed more than 500 deals. And as I said on June 1st, I would dye my hair purple. So I did. You did. They did. They did. Then you did. Correct. And even better is going to be the uh, donation to the food bank. Let's talk just for a second about that. Yeah. The um, thing that, that I was most proud of uh, coming, because again, I was saying, hey, close 500 deals. I'll send a $5,000 check. Basically for every deal, a student closed, I was donating 10 bucks. And that's kind of where it started. And then Dion came up with the whole, no, oh, you got to dye your hair purple. I'm like, okay, fine. <laughs> you you want to make me look like a clown? Fine. No problem. But what's actually transpired is because we've talked about it, we've had uh, others such as yourself chime in going, hey, I will donate a, a ratio yeah. uh, kind of matching yours based on units. And there's a very good chance we're already over 10 grand. And there's a very good chance by the end of the month, it could be as large as 15 grand. It's fantastic. And that and in Fresno, that means I mean, I actually called him and asked, "What does it take to support one day of required food?" And it's almost ten grand. Hence, my awesome. goal of ten grand. So, we we uh, the, we at this point, the, the channel um, might do fifteen thousand dollar donation, uh, awesome. which is just unbelievable. So to feed you. a city of that size for a day and a half, mm -hmm. just from people that support financial independence financial freedom and all the work that you've done and all the work that you continue to do, bringing all these experts. I mean, it's just, I want awesome to call to out the other, I want to call out all the other YouTube channels that dwarf ours. <laughs> they keep talking about how much money they make. Why don't you talk about how much money you give away? Amen let's, to that. Let's talk about that. Amen to uh, that. I don't talk about what I make, but I'll talk about what we give. Heck yeah. 
Yeah, we're, we're in this for one reason and one reason only, to help people attain financial independence and financial freedom and to give back for those, for the very few that gave to us mm -hmm. in growing up in this business because YouTube didn't really exist in this fashion. Um, and to try and give back and try and help people get a better financial future. So, yeah, just one more point on this. There was, so I'm, I'm 50 basically, and probably certainly 40 years of my life. I didn't, five grand would have been like, I, I, I couldn't have written that check. It would have drained so much stuff. So yeah. uh, to be in a point where that, that can happen now. And, and it's just, it's wonderful. So it's worth it, right? Sacrifice doing the work all the stuff we talk about. So, it um, is. and then you attract other quality people to donate as well. It's so awesome. Yeah, it's a huge honor. Super excited to do it. Um, yeah, it's a blast. So without further ado, we're jumping into the crypto stuff. So have, so are you ready? Cause there's a lot of data here and yeah, I don't I have, have a spreadsheet to share with you. I'm, I'm the worst like that. It's okay. So I, got, I do I have, I, I do have some numbers to walk you through. So I was very fair. I didn't start with crypto in January of 21 when it was 29,000 bucks. Okay. I went another year back and I said, you know what? January 20, it was $7,000 for a Bitcoin. Okay. So we're, we got to be very clear on this. So we are talking Bitcoin, not crypto. We are talking Bitcoin specifically in this case, because okay, it was definitely. too hard to build against a basket. Oh yeah. No, totally. Because, I just... yeah, with altcoins and all the goofiness there, like there were so many coins that were pump and dump schemes. Yeah. So I wanted to do something that yeah. is largely when people talk crypto, largely they're talking about Bitcoin and they're talking about investment, right? Perfect. 7,000 bucks. Got it. 7,000 bucks. January 20 is what that thing costs you. So because we have to compare apples to apples, I said, okay, in my market, a house in January of 20 was $282,000. That makes sense. Okay. 282, okay. So at 282, you figure you're going to have to put 20 points down. So we'll just call it 60,000 bucks as an investor that's buying this property. Mm -hmm. I mean, I brought, I bought a duplex for a, right around that number, 282. So I bought a duplex for right around okay. 282. Mm -hmm. So you have to put 60,000 bucks down. Okay. So let's just say that you had that same 60,000 bucks you could put into crypto. Okay. Okay. So that gets you 8.571 Bitcoins. Got it. Okay. Yep. Now, the progression is in January of 21, that coin that those 8.571 coins that were worth 7,000 mm -hmm. are now worth $29,000 a coin, right. which means that you have 248,560 bucks worth of Bitcoin. Nice. Worked out. Right. Yeah. Crushed it. Right. Crushed, Crushed it. it. Yes. Now, January of 22, another year later. Mm -hmm. $46,000 per Bitcoin, which means your now Bitcoin net worth is $394,266. Yeah. So I want to talk about this first off, because this is the yeah. same thing I get with people who say buy Amazon and Apple <coughs> and all of these stocks. Most folks, let's just be honest. Most of you, you get a run half that good. You are selling out. Sure. Absolutely. Totally agree with you. Yeah. Yep. It's so funny that the average person will keep their losers and sell their winners. It's yeah. just a human nature, but let's just assume you are that one odd person uh, that held and never sold. So you got almost 400 grand. You do. You do. In, now, in two years. That's dude. That's that, that doesn't suck. No, that's awesome. Well, and so I also built into where we are as of yesterday. Sure. So where we are as of yesterday is that Bitcoin's now only worth 39 K. Yeah. And so your $394,000 just evaporated to $334,000. Yeah. And how many yeah. of you would sold now because you missed the peak and this, that, uh, anyways, right. yeah. I so there's it. all those caveats in there, but again, giving you're, benefit of the doubt. You're still up 500%. You are. You're, you're, still, you're still at $334,000 and minus your cost basis, you've made 270, basically 275 grand. You've made $274,000 minus your 60K cost basis. Now, if you look at the house in okay. January of 20, the, yes. so I, like I said, I bought a duplex that was right around this number. Mm -hmm. um, it was uh, 282,000 in January of 20. Yep. In January of 21, it was 305. All right. In January of 22, it was 360. Okay. And now that same place is worth 381. All right. That makes, that, I like those numbers. Okay. So it's gone up about $99,000. Yeah. In, in equity. 
right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the next thing is, is that, well, this is a duplex and you bought it with 20% down as an investor. And so you're making rents now and you're making profit. Sure. And so I took the numbers from the property that I modeled here, mm -hmm. which is in for the year of 2020. So basically that entire year. So as of January 1, that property made $23,000 that year. So we're talking net, net cash flow. Net, net cash flow. Okay. 23,000 bucks that property made that year. I'm with you. Okay. Yep. Now in January of 22, well, guess what? There were a bunch of rent raises. Mm-hmm. So my rents went from on that building $23,000 net cash mm -hmm. to $36,000 net cash. That makes sense. Okay. And so right now we're still in those same leases. And so mm -hmm. we're still making about 3000 bucks a month. Okay. And so, so far this year, it's made another $9,000. I believe it. Okay. So in three right. years, you've basically, or up, you know, three years plus the three months from this year or 20, yep. 2020, 2021, and 20, and the three months of 2022 mm -hmm. done $99,000 in equity and $68,000 in cash income okay. for a grand total of $167,000. So if you bought crypto January of 20 at 7,000 bucks and held and held, and just sold, mm -hmm. you would have $274,000 there versus the 167 that you would have on the house. Oh, so Bitcoin's the way I should go is what you're saying. Bit, we missed it. We missed we it. We missed it. We would have all been so much wealthier. Mm -hmm. We missed it. So let's get a little bit deeper into those numbers. And then I have, and then I have the, and then I have the numbers on the other side, which is for first time home buyers, right? Oh, okay. Because I want to compare the true investor that's not living in the property, bought the property, really just parked an asset mm -hmm. and said, I invested that thing now just makes me money. So we well, agree. Well, okay. yeah, so, so I want to break these down a little bit more because please. So again, if you. So first and foremost, we're on the Bitcoin side. Yes. You don't have any income. You made zero income. Correct. Right. Unless you're doing some kind of staking or some other risks. <laughs> Let's just right. be the average person. Correct. No, no cash flow in 20, no cash flow in 21. That's right. You didn't see any of this. You didn't see any of the gains until you sold in theory in 2022. Correct. You're going to pay 20% taxes. So you're going to get your 60 K back and you're going to end up with about 210. So you have 270 grand. If you sold today, minus taxes, roughly yep. real estate, very different game. You Agreed. actually had income. So you made 23 grand and then 36 grand and then nine grand. Oh, by the way, most of that, if not all of it is hidden with depreciation and other tax savings. Correct. Uh, the 99K. Um, unrealized. Again, unrealized. So if you sold, you paid some taxes on that. You have depreciation recapture as well. So again, um, Lots there, but also again on the real estate side, your 2020 loan was probably 30 year debt was probably in the fives, probably maybe even high low sixes. Yep. You could have refied, whacked your payment. Yep. And had more cash flow instead of just rent raises. Yep. It's Bitcoin and real estate to me, they're really one's an appreciation play, which you know I hate. Agreed. Yep. Same page. And the other is a cash flow kind of long-term wealth generation. So, Correct. so the, the people way that want to do apples and apples, they're not. That one's a one's a watermelon and one's a you know a shit bowling ball. Yeah, bowling ball. It's like sure. They're they're you can't do apples to apples with these two things. But yeah, well but, I like what you did here. Yeah. Yeah. So so to that end though, I would give them credit and say, okay, if you time the market perfectly, bought on January 1st at 7,000 bucks, because it's not just about where an investment's gone, it's about mm -hmm. where it's going. And so yeah, the question, if you, could if you could time the bottom, go buy some lotto tickets. I mean, well, that's if, you. You, if you can go from a $7,000 coin to now it's 39, mm -hmm. but now you have to make the progression from 39 to 62 or yeah, 62. Why? Right. Well, because the, the next, the next three years. Right. Oh, I see. Even I see. if appreciation isn't there in the property, we're still going to have the income. Oh, I got you. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. so just to even start to keep pace, 
Now Bitcoin has to go from seven to 39, but that was an increase of 32,000, you know, yep. $32,000. Now you got to do another 32. So now your $71,000 is what Bitcoin has to be January 1 of, you know, three years from now or two years from now, mm -hmm. 71,000, two years from now. And got it. that's still, if you're holding it, that's still not making you any money. That's still not actually creating any more income. If I just keep rents flat, I go from, you know, I go from 23 and 36 to 36 and 36 again. Right. You know, and that's where I think, I, I think that the conversation can at least be had investor to investor. Mm -hmm. If you're looking at property, I'm looking at the cash flow from that property constantly paying me regardless of if the asset's increasing in value. And yeah, I think on the Bitcoin sign, you only get that when the asset increases in value. There's not a Bitcoin dividend. Yeah, what, what I, this is a fear. I know it happens in some people. I don't know if it's everyone, but this is a fear I have. Mm -hmm. I believe a lot of people have been attracted to crypto, maybe first Bitcoin, but probably now mostly the altcoins. Yes. Because they feel like it's their only way to get rich. Sure. Michael, it's the only way I can go to the moon. And I think that is such a dangerous, dangerous feeling. Sure. House hacking a fourplex, four, three, two, one, 10 years. I, going to the moon is the wrong goal, yes. my opinion. Yep. Going to the moon to me equals get rich quick. The only people that get rich quick are the people selling you the nonsense. And I, it was the same thing for us when we were younger, right? We were chasing dot com stocks. Sure. It, not like we, it's, you know, coin and, and com is, th you know, one's four letters, one's three. We fell for it too. Yeah. So, I mean, I get it. Uh, but yeah, it, it's dangerous to say going to the moon. Oh, dude, betting <laughs> on appreciation in anything is a fool's game. Well, I think so. And I think so. You know, I, I wanted to kind of give that as the premise of, hey, as investors, you and I are investors, anything we buy, we're going to be 20 points down in. But now let's take it to the next level. The people that we're talking to on a daily basis. OK. Right. Mm -hmm. The people that we say, change your life with a house hack, change yes. your life with a four, three, two, one house hack plan. Okay. Change your life. And so I ran the same numbers, still Bitcoin in January of 20 at 7,000 bucks. Yep. Still the house at $282,000. Okay. But with a three and a half percent loan down mm -hmm. for this owner awk multifamily property. Okay. You would be, and we'll, we're still calling this just a duplex. This is just the duplex I bought, not a tri or a quad. Okay, so just just a duplex. All right. Which are available in pretty much every city, right? Yeah. Quads mm -hmm. and tries are sometimes hard, but yeah. dupes are pretty much everywhere. Okay. And so on Bitcoin, so if again on the house, your $282,000, your three and a half percent down is 9.87K. All right. Let's so call it 10 grand. Okay. Yeah. So at 9.87K, that equates to 1.41 Bitcoin uh, in 2020. I see what we're doing. Okay. okay. I like it. I like it. I like it. So now we're at 1.41 Bitcoin. So you yep. own that 1.41 Bitcoin. So now January and 21, when it goes to 29K, you now have $40,000 of Bitcoin. Got it. In January of 22, when it's $46,000 for Bitcoin, you're now $64,000 off of your 10 grand. That's awesome. Okay. And now in now, as of today, mm -hmm. or yesterday, you're $39,000, which means you have $54,000 worth of Bitcoin. So Makes sense to me. I like that's it. your numbers, but your 54K, even if your cost basis is 10 grand, so you're technically 44K. And then if you sell, you're your 20%. Mm -hmm. But still you're, yeah. still, you're still very healthy for any investment for 10K into 54K. You're very healthy for two years. I, I, right? Just so you know, I will take every, I'll, I'll do that. Every deal, every time. Okay. Yep. I'll even buy crypto to get that return. <laughs> Absolutely. So, so then we look at the house. The house okay. was 282,000. It was 9.87K. And we're buying, again, this is a duplex. Yeah, yeah. So in January of 21, that property is worth 305. You've increased your value, your worth, 23K. Ooh, yeah. Right? Yep. Now, and again, because we're looking just on the appreciation side, comparing yep. apples to apples, Bitcoin to a housing appreciation. Yep. In January of 22, that house is now worth 360K. You've now made $78,000 in appreciation. Yep. And now as of yesterday with the, my state's um, numbers based mm -hmm. all the way up till March 1st, mm -hmm. it was 381,000, which means $99,000 in equity in the last two years. 
I love it. So now your $99,000 in equity compared to your $54,000 worth of Bitcoin. Well, you're actually, a, aren't you 109,000 because you have the original 10 as well? Oh, it gets better, Michael. Oh, geez. So yes, you're correct. But now remember, we're in a duplex and we're house hacking. Exactly. You're living. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So now in this house, I counted and did the math on the numbers. You saved yourself in 21. You saved yourself $24,000 of rent and mortgage payments that you otherwise would have had to make. Yeah. Which, oh, by the way, you could use to go buy Bitcoin if you wanted, but I'm just- Exactly. <laughs> and, and you did that again the next year for another $24,000- yeah. And just so people don't, people realize what he's doing, this is genius. You have to pay rent somewhere. You do. You have to pay. You know what? Most people don't want to live in their cars. You don't. <laughs> Most people don't. It's true. So, so you're living in half the duplex basically for free. Yep. Which again, as Dion says, go, go stop this, the latte factory, go yep. whack your biggest expense. Mm -hmm. So this is, this is genius. Okay. I, so I so now in 21, you're 24K. In 22, you've saved another 24K because you're 30 year fixed rate debt, my friend. Absolutely. So even, so your costs, your, your tenants paying what they're paying, yep. I even just left it flat. I even just left it flat. So you're 24, 24, and then the last three months, the three months of this year is 6,000. So you're $54,000 saved <laughs> out of pocket in living expenses yeah, which is, oh, by the way, after tax money, not pre-tax money. So it Correct. actually, it's, what is that? 54, which is really more like 70. Yep, agreed. Wow. So now you're talking about, let's now look at the first time home buyer that's willing to house hack versus the crypto investor. Yeah, house hack a duplex only. Oh my goodness. Only this a duplex. We're not talking about a quad. We're not talking about a tri. We're talking about only a duplex. This, this is very, very well done. I can see the numbers. And so now you're looking at, at Bitcoin, your money sitting in your account is $54,000. Yep. Your money sitting in your house. Well, let, is, let's be clear. I'm sorry. It's $54,000 and you're still spending two grand a month on rent. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Because this $54,000 worth of Bitcoin sitting there didn't save you a dime of rent. Nope. 54 grand. That's it. So when people talk about highest and best use of money, take out what you're paying for monthly rent. Mm -hmm. Take that number out and you're going to be at 54,000 bucks worth of crypto, but you're going to have saved, saved $54,000 in cash by not paying rent and by not paying your mortgage because your renter's doing that. And oh, by the way, you've increased about $99,000 in equity in your property. Now you can refinance out. You can do a, a whole slew of other really cool things that you cannot do with any of the Bitcoin. Cheat code to wealth, house hacking, 4321, get on the property ladder, three and a half percent down. There's so much, folks, you need to do this. It's just, just this is eye-opening. This is awesome. So so again, I know that we catch a lot of flack from crypto guys and from Bitcoin guys, and I get it. Apples to apples, if you can count on your coin like it did over the last couple of years, going from seven to 39 and 39 to 72, then you'll probably be ahead of me still. Yeah. But if it's not 72, I'm going to absolutely thump you with cash flow. And again, we're not talking about traders. We're talking about investors, people yeah. that put the money in and get the check every month in their account. Mm -hmm. And so when I looked at this for being that first time home buyer, Mike, this lit a fire under my butt so far, so hot yeah. that I was like, I, I read the numbers time and time again. I looked at the property that I bought and I was like, this isn't how are people buying single family homes? How are they not buying only duplexes? Yeah, no, you're right. How are they not? Buy I mean, you're already living in an apartment, please. If it's good enough for Anna Kelly with two kids to live yes. in a fourplex. Uh, there's a clue there. Yes. Yes. So all I would tell you is I would implore people, please do the numbers. I wanted to take the time to, to scenario out all of these options, but wow. most importantly, scenario out for the type of investor that we're talking to, which is a lot of times a first time home buyer or a first time investment buyer. There's companies out there. You can absolutely rent your place and move into this place even if your first primary residence, that single family home, 
even if that is only a net zero, mm-hmm. this plan makes this plan makes you rich. This plan makes you rich in 10 years. The cheat code to wealth is real. What you and Dion talk about all the time. It's this is just such a great example. Thank you. This is pretty cool. Thanks for doing it with me, Michael. Any other thoughts before we uh, jettison the video? No, I just go back to the the one point I have with most Bitcoin investors. Most Bitcoin investors and I don't get along or don't don't see eye to eye. I shouldn't yeah. say get along. Don't see eye to eye because you're talking appreciation and I'm talking spending spendable cash flow. Right. Now I know staking and all this other stuff. It's way too complicated for the average person, myself <laughs> included. So you just got to realize we're talking different things. We're not we're not belittling anyone, but don't don't come to me with a, a you know Bitcoin going to the moon when I'm talking about I want you know ten thousand dollars in free cash flow to pay my bills. So every day Saturday, it's it's a different it's a different mindset, a different world. The other idea too, Michael, is, and this is what I was thinking about too, was the fact that you have people that if you own Bitcoin, you are checking your phone 77 times an hour. Like you are nonstop checking your phone. I know, Mike, I know you were like that. I know I was oh, like that. Right? Right? Yeah, this, dude, it was, we were it was in the market. market. It was running across my, it was, yeah. well, we, didn't, we didn't have smartphones because we're old. Correct. It was running across my computer screen. Yeah, <laughs> it was. And so that's what I look at now today and say, This is as simple as you wake up in the morning, you spend time with your wife and your kids in your building and you drive to work and you work. And then when you come home, you're home in a building that you own, that you're not even renting anymore. Yeah. That just means so much more to me than being able to look up some, you know, coin, alleged coin way of trade. There's so many people trying. Tangible. That's just... um... We were, we were all there once. We want, yeah. we want instant gratification, instant wealth. And the fact that most people believe they got to take these hair bra- hair brain pump and dump rug pull is just, it's, it's sad. And oh, by the way, I've been there. So it's, it's not like it's, it's a new phenomenon, uh, but just be careful. The cheat code to wealth, duplex, quad, tries. Uh, you'd be shocked. I mean, just do the math. Go back and do the math. Three and a half percent down. Uh, you're saving your biggest expense. Uh, you're in a much, much better place. And that's compared to a coin that went up 400%. Right. So it's crazy. It's crazy. You're, you're going to have to count on just, just the dollar appreciation, it being at 72. But if it has to go up that percentage, oh, it's just you're talking about almost $200,000 Bitcoin. Yeah, exactly. I don't think you're going to see that in the next two years. Just guessing. But save the video. I could be wrong. Yeah. yeah. So, and and, and yeah. I, don't, I, I hope it gets there. I do. I, I do. I, I hope. I, go, hey, I'll say it right here. I hope Bitcoin goes to a million bucks a coin. You and me both. <laughs> if it does, I, I'll, I'll be okay. And some Bye. ether too, please. Yeah, please. Ether too. Yeah. Yeah. Ethereum. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Go to. Yeah. If, if Ethereum goes to a million bucks, I'm going to be really happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> you and me both. So Mike, where can everybody find you, my friend? Thanks for doing this exercise with me. Oh, this, this was, uh, this blew me away and I, I'm awesome. pretty good with numbers. So very well done. Go to your Google search bar and just type in one rental at a time. And I do a live stream every Saturday at 8 a.m. Pacific. So tomorrow. Yeah, don't miss it. It's a lot of fun. As I always say, we like to put a lot of time and effort into great content for you guys. Hit the like button. Please take this video and forward it to some of your crypto friends and your Bitcoin friends. I'm telling you, just let them see the math. And if anybody's being intellectually honest, the math answers your questions. Math don't lie. Math doesn't lie. It's just like supply and demand. It is undefeated. So uh, Lumberjack Landlord signing off here. Lumberjack Landlord on Instagram. As I said, like, subscribe. Please forward this to people because I think it answers a lot of questions that people have that just haven't taken the time to do the math. So I always like to say it's just math. So Michael, look forward to segment number two. And again, thanks everyone for watching. Take care.